Hello, Hatricus. This one is for the new managers, and it has a few points about systems in Hatrick that may be counterintuitive of how they actually work. So a lot of new managers perhaps come from desktop manager games like Football Manager or something like that, and you have an idea of how things should work because you apply some sort of a real-world logic to the terms that you see in Hatrick. The first one is team spirit, and if we look at the bragging here, you would see that they have a calm team spirit. The way this works, the way you might think this work is that if you instruct your team to play the match of the season you would expect your players to give it all in order to win the match and you might expect a win to improve the team spirit because winning the most important match of the season surely should help in that regard but the matter of the fact is that it doesn't winning an important match with this attitude will harm your team spirit you have to look at team spirit as a resource and playing match of the season will spend the resource it will always half your team spirit the other option is to play it cool where you lower your midfield during the match and then you gain team spirit you have to multiply by one and one third of your current team spirit in order to find a new team spirit so rather than looking at team spirit as a reflection of how your players might react to results it's just a resource that you build up and spend according to the importance of a match. Confidence, however, is where you see the reflection of the results and how it affects your team. The second system that I want to talk about is the fan system, because you might think applying this real world or football manager logic to Hattrick, if you want to maximize your income from home games, that it would be important to win your home matches. Pleasing the home crowd should be important in order to attract more spectators for your home matches. But that's not how it works in Hattrick. If you want to focus on increasing your profit from home games, you have to focus on winning your away games. The way to ensure that you have the highest fan mood when you play your home game is to win the away game rather than the home game. And most of the season you will be alternating playing home and then away from home. Bear this in mind if you're trying to make money. The final system that may be counterintuitive to a new Hattrick manager is the way that the match simulation goes because it's based on ratings. Hattrick's match engine is somewhat complex to understand at first, but it's not as sophisticated as you might think and you don't have an actual football match simulation going on like you'd see in a game like Football Manager for instance. That's just something we have to imagine as we read the match report or watch the games live. To simplify matters, I would like to divide the way you understand and match simulation in Hattrick into two layers. The first one being the ratings layer, the basic layer. And it's about getting advantages in all of these sectors. Now, when you look at this system, it may make sense to strengthen your team by finding a star striker and a very strong midfielder. The fact of the matter is though, you get a strong striker in or a star midfielder, for instance, they are not going to win games on their own. They're not going to magically create a goal out of nowhere, at least not in the basic layer. They're just going to add a contribution to the ratings. Applying this hat-trick logic rather than a football manager logic to this means that rather than strengthening each of the chains by adding one player, you should look at adding, for instance, two midfielders, two strikers, because if you look at one player where the gap towards the average level of the team is higher anyway, it will take a higher investment, and you may as well try to spread out that onto two players where the gap is smaller but still greater than your average uh, level in the team. And instead of buying a midfielder and a striker, consider buying two midfielders and two strikers. Another positive effect of this approach is that you are less vulnerable to injuries and card suspensions. Imagine you just buy one star midfielder and he gets a long-term injury in the first match. That would be very annoying to experience as well. That's just three examples of where Hattrick might have a logic on its own. So to reiterate, focus on the ratings, spread out your investments. Remember that team spirit is just a resource that you build up and you spend. And if you want to make money playing at home, focus on winning your away games. Perhaps you have a good example of where Hattrick has a logic on its own as well. If so, please post it in the comments. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing it. Thank you so much for watching.